April has faded here on the mountain, and the sights and sounds of May are rolling in. You'll have to forgive my voice as the trees bloomed this week, but the pollen is the price to pay to watch the trees burst forth in joyous dancing and color begin to once again cover the earth. There are many springtime projects going on here at the Little House, both to the land and to the cottage. Our little house is filled with quirks, as the earliest parts of our home were built as a summer cottage in the 1950s, with a few add-ons in the later years. I often imagine what it must have looked like back in its day of sheltering summer memories of the 1950s. I imagine cooking meals over an open fire and the land brimming with ferns and songbirds, the sound of laughter filling the cottage rooms. Every season here brings forth its own beauty and its own challenges. But today, I am ever so thankful for a roof over our heads, the sheltering walls of the cottage, the bees carrying the pollen from place to place, and the leaves beginning to create their own canopy of shelter above.
Isaiah 55, 12, it says, For you shall go out in joy, and be led forth in peace. The mountains and the hills before you shall break forth in singing, and all the trees of the field shall clap their hands. Friends, we wanted to thank you so much as always for coming back to our little house on the mountain. For more information, please go to www.ourlittlehouseonthemountain.com. And if you are interested in the DIY hand and body scrub from today's video, you will find that on our blog and I will leave those links in the description box and pinned in the comments below. I pray that I will see all of you right here on the next one. Bye, friends.